Why does Mumbai flood every year? These satellite images of Mumbai tell the stunning story of vanishing water bodies and mangroves over three decades and that in turn speak of the annual nightmare Mumbai endures. Mangroves absorb excess water but they are being destroyed in Mumbai in the guise of infrastructure development. Mumbai has lost a large part of its mangrove cover to rampant construction and it is a pillage in progress as the land-starved city housing needs grow exponentially. Also why Mumbai's natural storm water drains, its wetlands and rivers are being mercilessly encroached upon. Just look at the crown jewel in Mumbai's storm water drainage system. The Mithi River, a dividing line between the city and the suburbs. The Mithi drains water into the Arabian Sea. The Mithi's catchment area has narrowed over time due to reclamation of land for construction. What is left of the Mithi is pretty much a sewer, clogged with plastic and debris. The wetlands along the Mithi too have done the disappearing act. Mumbai's man-made storm water drainage system doesn't fare better. Built around 1860, keeping in mind the population at that time. The British era system can deal with 25 mm of rainfall per hour. At low tide, which means when rainfall exceeds that limit, coupled with high tide, Mumbai gets flooded. What's worse, the 400 kilometers of underground drains and laterals are choked with garbage and plastic. The next time you chuck a plastic bag into the gutter, remember it causes floods like this. When Mumbai saw the devastating 2005 floods, the BMC proposed the Brimstoward project to increase the drainage capacity to 50 mm. 15 years and rupees 4,000 crore later, only 27 out of 58 drain widening projects have been completed. The government needs to seriously review their priorities in this era of climate change, global warming and sea level rise.